Well, good morning, everybody. It's December 28th, 2021. At 8.15 in the morning. We are gonna go out and do, I wasn't gonna do an aftermath video because there's a big part, well, there, it's technically a new storm coming in, so that's why I am gonna do it. Um, but today, right now, it's, uh, it's like 25 degrees out. And it's supposed to, th throughout the day, just on and off, some snow flurries. We're supposed to get less than an inch of, inch of snow throughout the day. If if even like, a, a like I don't know, maybe like a, quor a quarter inch or a half an inch. I'm really exhausted. Um, but I love doing this. We're gonna do another lake drive so you guys can see how everything looks um, when we have blue skies. So yeah, so this is technically the aftermath video. Um, let's see here. I've got some good news though regarding snow, you guys. We have so much snow coming apparently tomorrow. So as I said, today, throughout the day, on and off, we're supposed to have snow showers. I know it doesn't look like it. It's just blue skies. Everything's beautiful. But seriously, within, within minutes, it gets cloudy and we're supposed to get snow on and off <clears throat> throughout the whole day. Um, but it's, it's not going to be anything. It's just going to be kind of like a, a, a bit of, of a nuisance, just hardly anything. So, but tomorrow when we wake up in the morning, uh, it's supposed to start snowing heavy, 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 heavy. I think just in the morning time, we could get five to eight inches. And then at nighttime, said we could get a foot or more just in night just at night time tomorrow night and then the following morning thursday morning we could get another five inches so if everything works out we still could get two feet out of this two new feet of snow which would be insane you guys think town looks beautiful now you just wait you just wait and see and the reason why we're, we're driving this way again <coughs> is because um no traffic that goes out of town this time of the morning so that's why we're going this way again and we're gonna do the whole lake the O lake I love you guys so much that's why I have no problem doing this getting up the only thing I bummed out is that my my alarm was supposed to wake me up at 6 a.m. and I woke up without my alarm in like a blind panic and it was it was 8 a.m. But I didn't fall asleep till 5.30. Well, at least that's the last time I looked at the clock and said, dude, you've got to try and go to sleep. So I tried and went to sleep. I think I got to sleep for a little bit. But I am, I am exhausted. Exhausted. <laughs> Guys, have your tire chains for sure. Um, the positive about the sun being out today is that there is radiational heating. So hopefully some of this snow, plus all the warmth of the cars driving on these roads right now, will help melt the snow on the main roads. But um, it's not safe, you guys. Tire chains is where it's at. As I say, it's not safe. I'm blowing by people right now. But it is two lanes. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not really blown by him. Look guys, I'm going 35. The speed limit's 40. Well, the speed limit is technically whatever is safe for the conditions, but I'm not speeding. You guys have, have really helped me out, man. You guys have really helped me out. To be, ooh, to become a better driver. Also, it's going to be cool because we're going to get to see some of the clouds <clears throat> roll over the mountain again from today's little bit of weather coming in, but I don't consider today <clears throat> as much weather. Even though when it does start snowing, for the five minutes it does, I will be recording, obviously. Any changes we have, but this is just too beautiful. Another big reason why I wanted to be up at six to do this was so like we would hit zero cars we see zero cars out here really and it would just be just a winter wonderland without the, the, 
without metal everywhere. So if you guys don't know, we are on Big Bear Boulevard and we're taking this like we're going out of town. And this will also tell me if Highway 18 is open with my own eyes. Like hi Highway 18 leaving town. So, I'm, uh, so I can tell you guys what's going on. And then there was some more information some of you guys gave us yesterday on on some comments that I totally forgot. I totally forgot what the information is. It's probably because I'm just so tired. Thank you so much again for all the love and support you guys are showing me. I'm just, I'm blown away. Seriously, thank you very much. Now we're going to try not to complain about any driving at all on this drive. I tried last night and remember I got through the whole night until we got to the end. And then I, I made one little comment. It wasn't even a mean comment. But for me, that was still a fail. So, we're working on it. We're working on it. What I tell myself is, I don't want people driving behind my mom talking smack or like getting mad at her because that would really make me mad. So, um, so then I just think about that and then I don't give any of these people any crap. And they don't deserve it either. They're t a lot of them are so terrified driving up here. My aunt, she won't come up here with snow or without snow because she's too terrified of the mountain roads themselves So I understand guys. It's scary But you guys can see why we're going this way, right? <laughs> Around the lake instead of the other way Because of all this traffic, but yeah The further you go this way the more snow there will be this, We're entering the snowier part of town For the for the valley per se at the very bottom of the ski resorts they get a lot of snow too and then in upper moon ridge and then the very high parts of sugarloaf that are at the at the bottom of the mountain as well they get good snow as well and uh the big bear lake side of fawn skin like that side of fawn skin. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, oh man. So yeah, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be stunning. So we got a little more snow than I thought, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a total accumulation from like the past couple little storms at my house last night when I was doing a thank you video for you guys. Um, there was about six inches of snow in my backyard. I couldn't believe it. Because it, it just didn't seem like that much in my driveway at all or any, or, or, or like anywhere. But when I stepped down and, and made fresh tracks with my feet, I couldn't believe it. It was a lot deeper than I thought. Oh, man, look at this. I want to roll down my window, but I'm scared it's going to, like, pop some of the... Pop some... Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, forget it. We can get it fixed. Definitely liking how everything's looking today. Look at that. That's just as beautiful. Oh, man. It looks like so much snow, doesn't it? It's technically not. Not yet, at least. Tomorrow should be the type of snow where the potential for them to shut the mountain down is very possible. Accentuate everything with the blue 
the sky. Oh man, I'm telling you guys, this is beautiful. I wish you could all be here to see it. Look at this. So here it looks like they got like eight inches to maybe even close to a foot of snow over here. Good for them. You lucky people over here. And the way I can tell is I just look at like some of the some of the uh, some of the rocks or some of the patios and stuff like that. You don't you can't really judge by a lot of the roofs even though you see piles of snow on people's roofs like my house doesn't have much snow on it because I have the heat on all the time so you can tell if someone's at the house because there like there's definitely someone staying there right now because there's 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 not a lot of snow on the roof and a lot of the snow has melted that's an indicator Absolutely incredible. <coughs> so many people coming into town. My God, that's beautiful. Seriously, guys, this is like one of the most beautiful things ever. Yeah, I'd say they got like eight or nine inches. Over here. And all these people must be very very happy to finally be up here because it's uh i bet the drive was a nightmare to get up here watching out for other cars in front because in this type of weather I treat it like I'm riding my motorcycle um, where I'm watching everybody else not really worried about myself these cars can come sliding around those corners at any time so I gotta turn up the windshield defrost it a little bit more just to keep things Funny, huh? 
I tried. Try, try, and try again. Remember guys, keep an eye on how much snow is on this side of town. And the further we go, it's significantly less. And it's so weird because from the Big Bear Dam to, to the very end of Baldwin, I think it's only like seven and a half or eight miles. And it's the same elevation. But because of, of, of these climates smashing each other, we have that dry desert climate just on this side of the mountain range, which I am pointing at. And then we have the ocean flow on this side. And once they dump all the snow on top of Snow Summit and that big part of the mountains over there, those storms end up hitting this dry, arid air. And this dry air rips the storms apart. The further we go this way, it's, it's, rather, it's, it's rather incredible. I know I've used the word incredible a lot right now. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing, I'm doing right now. I'm so tired. I promise you I'm not too tired to drive and do it safely for you guys. thing that's changed is that they've added more snow and that's a that's a that's a rarity you guys so I'm very excited about that when I woke up that was the first thing that I looked at I'm like check the weather check the weather beautiful blue skies in front of my house yeah you can see a little bit of, of some clouds these clouds have nothing to do with tomorrow's storm obviously just hanging over the mountain. Guys, please bring your tire chains. These roads are extremely dangerous right now. And you can see I'm staying basically in the middle when I can. I just want you guys to be as safe as possible. Obviously, around the blind turns, you guys, I mean, it's pretty common sense. Don't be in the middle of the road. But, I mean, wow, look at just that's just an unbelievable, man. Unbelievable.
where we're at now on this part of the lake. Where the blue arrow is. Here's the Eagle Sanctuary, or whatever they call it. Right over in there. And we're about to enter Fonsi. Technically, enter there's the sign right here. Elevation 6,750 feet. So yeah, guys, as I said, it looks like Highway 18 to open, so get your butts up here and have some fun. Just bring a huge bag of patience. And for some of you, a huge bag of patience could be, could be something else. <laughs> Most of you skiers and snowboarders bring plenty of bags of patience up here. <laughs> but yeah, which is good. I don't partake in the patience anymore, unfortunately. But United States, but it could be, well, it's got to be the United States. You have the furthest vantage point of anywhere in the United States, which is from the top of, 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 of San, San Gorgonio. So if you're on the top of Mount Whitney in Northern California, or like Central Northern California, you can see San Gorgonio on the clearest day. And that's like, it's, it's like 190 miles. That's the furthest vantage point in the United States. How cool is that?
eye on the, the lower amount of snow the further we go this direction. Remember seeing like that foot of snow near or close to a foot near the Big Bear Dam. It's just gonna get less and less and less as we get to hold the lamp and take that. And it's kind of a, a dangerous drive, but the good thing about this also is that we're also heading kind of out of town when we're heading that way, and so we're not gonna probably hit any traffic besides uh, just some, some random folks like this. Big Bear, uh, whatever it is. Big Bear Welcome Center or something like that. You can tell they're making snow, especially on that far left run up there. Bear Mountain on Geronimo, they're making snow as well. I'm sure they're making snow on the whole mountain, but you can tell where it looks like those clouds right there on the hillside. That's, they're making snow. Currently, the temperature is 26 degrees, and we're coming up to a turn where a lot of people I, I have pointed out go over the edge. Right here, you can see where the pylons are missing. It happens all the time. You can even see tire tracks right there already. As I said last night, I think someone probably did go over, but there was no car there when we checked. But the tire tracks indicate that something went through. Part of the lake has a little ice on it, that's nice. I like seeing that. City now. Once you, well, technically, when you well, this is technically Big Bear City over here. But when you're on the other side of the lake, once you, I think once you pass the Division Road, I think that's when you're technically in Big Bear City on that side. But yes, as I said, we're gonna go do the the Baldwin thing so you guys can see what I coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule. as it can ever be how these storms work. 
then in the, in the in the spring and summertime when we get our monsoonal storms, the Baldwin side of town where we're going right now, they get the heavier thunderstorms before we do. Because the storms are coming in from that direction. Temperature now is 28 degrees. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it says 28 degrees. Here's another nice view of Bear Mountain. I don't know if you guys can see. Highway 38, guys. It's, this is Highway 18 now.
this, it'll take us all the way down to the Cern Valley, Apple Valley area and whatnot. Good morning. No snow on that lawn. Look at this, guys. That's just, that's just amazing. There's just no, hardly any snow over here. 
and this is still Big Bear. It's only eight miles away from the Big Bear Dam. Same valley, same elevation, but no snow, or hardly any snow. This view, though, is just always so beautiful when it snows. A few years back, they did a Super Bowl commercial right up here. I'll show you where. And then, in, in, in one of my videos, I emulated the whole commercial. It was hilarious. I did the commercial just like they did. That doesn't make any sense, does it? incredible guys the big bear snow rule unbelievable for those of you who, who even come up here a lot probably wouldn't wouldn't have realized it that there really is a significant difference in where you stay in town and it doesn't matter that the elevation in a lot of the situations so that's all going to be a lake shortly here and it'll stay around for about if we get two feet of snow it'll stay around for about a month maybe three weeks but it'll be gorgeous all this property becomes lakefront property and i'm telling you it's much more beautiful out here i i like this lake when it's a lake better than big bear big bear lake Now, if you get up here, and on this side of town, the snow is really deep, it's going to be massive on the other side of town. But this is giving you guys the really good, really good perspective of what the Big Bear Snow was like from one side of town to the other. And I, I know I keep saying that, but it's just, it's really incredible to me how this works. How two major, like, climate areas clash big time. Right over that big central area. The desert to this side, all that dry air clashes with all the moist air over here, and the dry air tends to win out. Equestrian areas, hardly any snow. This is where we are at now. Super Bowl commercial was filmed right here in this parking lot. Where is the entrance? Right here. Wait a minute. They closed the entrance off, but it's right there. And all the trucks were parked to the right over here. It was amazing. That's all going to turn into a lake if we get all this big snow. It's going to be so beautiful. also a good place to go sledding you guys I'll show you right right up here on the left hand side obviously parents be a little more careful because you still can slide into the street but the part I'm going to show you guys is not that bad there right now sledding to be honest okay here we are I think so you'll just want to just park right right here basically park up in there and then climb up there and just sled down have some fun as I said just be careful the kids don't slide in into the street so that's one of the areas and then there's a second little spot up here too on the left hand side not a lot of people know about it but you guys and locals. Where is that other little part? Or maybe that's the 
the only little sledding area, or at least what I call a sledding area on this side. I remember there was one other little spot that I tried sledding before. Oh, that's right, it's behind this new fence. This fence has only been up for like two years. Obviously someone bought the property. But we're on Shea Road. Since it's daytime, we're gonna take, or maybe we won't because of, of the traffic, we'll just stick to this. But I wanted to show you guys a part of town that is, is hidden and very, very beautiful. You know what, we are gonna check it out, because you guys gotta see it. So we turn here on East Big Bear Boulevard, and not on the main boulevard, this is East Big Bear Boulevard. Now wait till you see how beautiful this like little prairie and equestrian area is. People don't know about it because they're never over here, but it feels like you're in a completely different area. You'll see in just a moment. So keep your eyes peeled to the left. It is so gorgeous. Shoveling away. Shoveling away. Watch out, doggy! What's your parking at? It's a beautiful area. Go horseback riding out here, and as I said, you can't really tell that this area is here because you gotta take some of the side streets to get here. It is just so beautiful.
again, this side of town, less snow. Not nearly as little as where we just were. Okay, this is this is where we're at right now. As you can see, it even shows Baldwin being a lake. All that all that blue to the right of the arrow. But it's typically a dry lake bed. Or not even a lake bed, it's just dry. stay on the main boulevard or take the back roads all the way back home. But I think we're going to take the back roads all the way back home from Sugarloaf here. So you make a left here to go to Sugarloaf. That's Sugarloaf right there, up, the, up there. How good was I? I didn't say anything, even though you. Well, I just did. But how good was I right there? At least they made an effort to pull off as far as they could. Because these roads are very icy right now. You'll see most cars up here right now having tire chains on, guys. Hope you all are having a great morning. I'm kind of looking forward to a little bit. Well, it's not going to be much of a break today because as soon as the few snow flurries come in around two o'clock, of course I'm going to be back out. But yeah. Okay, we are going to take the back roads. So as you guys see, we just passed Maple, which is Sugarloaf. We're gonna turn left on Paradise, which is coming up right here. You see where it says Paradise Way. We're gonna turn left there, and we're gonna stay on that all the way till we get to Blue Ridge. Maybe not, because this car in front of us got out of the way. And this guy looks like he's doing pretty good up here. So we're going to stay on this road. We might turn on Sawmill if, if I see the traffic gets bad up here. But we have the option to turn anytime we want on the left now to get to the back streets, which is pretty cool. The way the sun is reflecting off those ladders on that truck, it keeps on looking like they're falling off the truck. <laughs> Here's Community Market. It is one of the oldest establishments in this whole town. It's been here for a very long time. I want to say the 40s or 50s. And it's one of the only stores. Or no, that, that's like the original store up here. This was after all the gold mining and stuff up in, in Holcomb Valley. That's where folks originally lived up here. Look at that, dude. Uh, Holcomb Valley was where the first people settled up here. But this is the first part of Big Bear where people actually settled. It was all the way over here. And Big Bear smoking vape. Man, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. I would not always, always talk about him if he just wasn't the neatest guy in the world. Please support him as much as you guys can. As I said, it's not just smoking vape. They have, they have novelty stuff there, Big Bear trinkets and stuff like that. Pay a damn good price too. In a good way. Smoke. Because 
I quit, when I used to smoke, um, stuff that became legal a couple years ago up here, to buy all my, my, my equipment, I would go down, down the mountain because I didn't know about Big Bear Smoke and Vape and I just assumed that it was super, super, super pricey. And eventually met the owner and checked out his store and it saved me a whole bunch of time because everybody drives down the mountain to get the things that they really need because you'll save a lot of money. His store, man, it's, it's, it's same prices if not cheaper. Even when I was smoking cigarettes, they were cheaper there. I couldn't believe it. Cheaper than down the hill. But I haven't smoked in a few years, really. Well, actually, it's been about a year. But before that, it was... I smoked for about four months. Because I had quit for almost four years living up here. And then I smoked for about four months. You guys will, will remember in my videos I was smoking, I think, a year ago. But I would drive all, all the way out to him to get my cigarettes. Because they were cheaper. But as I said, I just want people to support the really, uh, the really unbelievably awesome people. And Sahil, S A H I L is his name. Super great man. Anything I can do to help him, I totally will. Big Bear Smoke and Vape. They have two shops. One in the lake, also. Big Bear Lake and one, and that one in Big Bear City. All right, guys. Traffic is not too shabby. But we are going to have to cut across here because getting into Moonridge is going to be gnarly because of the Bear Mountain traffic. So once we get to Division Road at the stoplight, we're going to turn left. We're going to turn up this street just prior, but it's okay. We're in no rush, right guys? And on a morning like this, a good crepe, a nice warm crepe with fruit all over it and some Nutella, oh man. The Crepe Cafe is probably, if I had to choose one restaurant, I would have to choose that one. You know, even though I, I know you need more than crepes to live, but it's, it's so phenomenal. As I said, the owner, she's from France. And her husband, he's super, super cool. And they're just a good team and, and they do a wonderful job. It's her family's recipe and it's, it's phenomenal. It's in Big Bear Lake called the Crepe Cafe. Crepe Cafe, eh? You see the crepes? She got the crepe. I need to eat the crepe and then take the crepe. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not that funny. Maybe funny looking, but I'm really not that funny. I hope those of you who have the beanies are enjoying them. I'm seriously like, it's these things are amazing. They are so comfortable and it feels like cashmere. It's really nice. But it is like cashmere. It's 100% fine merino wool. Not just regular merino wool, fine merino wool. scary feeling when you're on 
a little slope like this and you feel like you, you can't make it up, yeah, we're going to have to do this as well. I gave them the old signals of the, uh, not the signal you're thinking, but the hazard signal. Say thank you for pulling over to let people pass. This guy's doing the same thing, so we're gonna give him the old signal and say thank you. Thank you, thank you ma'am. take the back way in just so we don't hit any traffic because you know there's nobody going to be leaving the Moon Ridge area right now they're all coming in to Moon Ridge so kind of knowing your way around really will save you a bunch of time
that looks like we're, we're turning around too. Hang on. We are going to go experience this this way. <laughs> there is another way, guys. There is another way. These guys making a right here are going to be bummed when they see that it's backed up like crazy. Man, it's backed up everywhere. I guess we're just pretty much boost grade anyway, so it's all good. Oh well, put on our patience cap, right? But we did the whole valley, you guys. I mean, we didn't go to Irwin, but we did the whole technical valley. So I'll turn it off right now while we're in traffic. Turn it around again, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna go up one of these hills. Yeah, that traffic did not move at all. So I think waiting in this line up here is gonna be easier for everybody. We just sat there for literally 10 minutes, guys, and nothing happened. We didn't move one iota. So I think we're gonna turn left up here. Ah, screw it. We'll go straight and turn left in the next one. Alright, so we're gonna try this. You can see it's backed up right here too, so we're just gonna cut through everything up here. I know there's gonna be traffic no matter how we cut it here.
really good. Screw that, but she just wasn't paying attention and turned right in front of me. That could have been bad. So we are going to take the long way. We're just going to get back to the boulevard and deal with that traffic on the boulevard because at least they'll have like cops and stuff running it.
safe, guys. I think you might be okay. If the traffic's moving on the boulevard, if I would have stayed on the boulevard instead of trying to be a smarty pants, you know, I'm just gonna shut up because I know I'm gonna jinx myself right now. I know it's gonna happen. As soon as we turn, traffic's gonna stop. He's going into the parking lot to go through the parking lot and then get to the stoplight. Not gonna help that much. And that's the shopping center right here on the right where I met Chuck Liddell yesterday. I still can't believe I met Mr. Liddell, the Iceman. Guys, hope you enjoyed. Sorry about all this uh, crap at the end. The beginning of the drive was amazing. <laughs> Love you guys a lot. Thank you guys for being here with me.